there are a few complexities to it. And okay. a good a good example uh, is when you want to change a button. A button doesn't just have one appearance. When uh, you click on a button, for example, the button appears to be pressed. When you hover over a button, it might be highlighted, for example. Uh, and each of those uh, states needs to be stored in a bitmap. There's, so there's, a, there's a perfect example. When you hover over one of those buttons, it gets highlighted. When you click it, it's selected and the background goes, in this case, orange. Uh, and all of this stuff uh, has to be um, changed in, in theme editor. Uh, you may find some with six. Some might have a disabled state as well, so they might be grayed out. I see. So there are like one, two, three, four, five different states in this guy. If we want to modify the entire button, we'd have to essentially modify, um, we'd have to modify every single layer of this. Exactly. Correct. It's one bitmap with five uh, button states in it. Another one um, is knobs. Now, okay. knobs are even have even more states than buttons. Um, if you think about it, a knob uh, has any number of states um, from one position all the way around to, uh, to max. Um, it may have something like a hundred different uh, states for each position the, the knob can possibly be in. You'll see in this case, it has, I don't know, what's that, eight, uh, eight different states. Some knobs have as many as 120 uh, something states. A uh, low band gain knob at the top left there. For the quad curve low EQ. Low band. Oh, that's a knob? Oh my God. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, if you zoom in there, you're going to see a hundred uh, different knob positions. I thought that was like a menu. I didn't realize it was a knob. Oh my God. Fortunately, all of those need to be changed. Uh, but, you know, if you're a graphics whiz, uh, there are things to make uh, doing that a lot easier. 